hope you're ready for some adventure because this big, beautiful world is full of them. You might even say all of creation is wonderful. From the northern lights, which we just saw on our screens, to the Great Barrier Reef, our world is full of so many wonders. Today, we're going to begin exploring our wonderful world by looking at the northern lights, one of the natural wonders of the world. What kinds of things do you get excited about? Maybe hanging out with friends or getting your favorite kind of ice cream. How do you express how much you love those things? Worship is kind of like what happens when we express how much we love and adore something. You may have heard of the word worship in a song, in a cartoon, or in a movie before. But what does worship mean to you? What does it mean to worship God? Oh, hi, I'm Judah. And I'm an explorer. Adventure is out there, and it's calling my name. Can you hear it? Judah. See, I told you it was calling my name. So, who enjoys adventures? I absolutely love adventures. Recently, I went to Norway. Do you know where Norway is? It's right here on this globe. Let's see. right here. The reason I went to Norway was to see the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, an astronomical phenomenon, causes the night sky to look like all kinds of colors, like bright greens and deep purples. They're wonderful, and they can only be seen in places up north, like Norway. It took me almost an entire day to get there. I found a place to camp and was prepared to see the light show. I waited one hour, then two, then eight hours went by and I saw only darkness. All good explorers know how to travel with two things. What are they? That's right, snacks and books. So I decided to wait a little longer while munching on my favorite snack which is putting in Cheetos in my best guidebook, the Bible. I decided to read from the book of Psalms. Did you know that the book of Psalms is full of prayers and praises to God? And you know what? As I read Psalm 33, I became full of hope. So let's read it together. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. God is so great and so wonderful. We see this being played out long ago with the people of Israel. Though they weren't always popular with the people around them, they experienced the blessing or happiness that comes with letting God lead the way. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne, he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts, so he understands everything they do. Wow, God sees every single person. God is so big and so mighty. God created our hearts and is aware of everything that we do, the good stuff and the not so good stuff. Yet God loves us no matter what. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength, it cannot save you. Even rulers of great kingdoms can't depend on only themselves. They need God too. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. Now, this isn't the same kind of fear as being afraid of the Lord. Fearing God simply means honoring God and showing God respect. He is able to do anything and is so wonderful. And he promised to watch over us. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. 
In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. God's people, the Israelites, waited with hope a lot. They knew God's promises and trusted God to follow through with those promises. That's what I did too. I waited in hope. Even though my adventure wasn't going exactly as planned, I wasn't sad anymore. I was just happy to be in a beautiful new place, remembering God was with me no matter what. Later, I learned from some traveling scientists that even though the Northern Lights weren't always visible to me, they were still there. Sometimes clouds block them, or the time of day makes it hard to see. But no matter what, the Northern Lights are always there, even if I can barely see them. You know what? That's just like God. We can't see God, but he's always there. That's why we can always put our hope in God. See you next time. Friends, that was so much fun talking about the Northern Lights. I've always wanted to see them. It would be like a dream come true for me. I love looking at the night sky. Hey, we've got something right here in our night sky. It's our big idea. Are you ready? You can say it with me. We, we can, can worship by, by putting our hope in God. God. Do you want to say it one more time together? All right. We can worship by putting our hope in God. Amazing. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Sorry I'm late, y'all, but it finally came. Yes, it is finally here. I can't believe it. I've been waiting forever. Wait, do you not know what this is? Oh, you're in for quite the treat. This right here is the latest technology. Tippity top of all the tech. This, my fellow chicken nuggets, is the VRW. The VR Wonderful. For those of you who do not know what this is, let me clue you in. It says here on the box, the VR Wonderful device has the ability to show you all the greatest and most beautiful natural wonders of the world. And not just show you, but teach you some of the most wonderful things that God has created. Now my best friend Jada sent it to me because apparently she wants me to broaden my horizons. Whatever that means. Now I'm not one for trying out new things, but this sounds pretty cool. And I'm always up to travel. Ready to open it? Here we go. Wow, <laughs> look at this thing. This is slick. I, I bet you this is what robots wear at night to keep the light from getting in their eyes. But where's the... Oh no, I think it's missing parts. Oh man, it is missing parts. There's no way this is going to work. Let me call Jada. <clears throat> call Jada. Hey Carl. Jada, it's so good to see you. I was just telling the kids that I smell like wrong dog. What? Wrong dog? Yep. What's... What's wrong, dog? Oh, nothing major. It's just the thing that you sent me is missing some parts. Wait, where? What What are you talking about? The VR Wonderful. I got it, but it's missing the wings. How am I supposed to see anything wonderful if this thing can't fly? <laughs> hey, what's so funny? I ain't kidding. We need to return this thing. Carl, the VR stands for virtual reality. You put the headset on and there's tiny screens in there that help you feel like you're actually there. Wait. So I'm not actually leaving? No. But I already packed up everything and told my mama it's gonna be gone for like a month. Sorry, at least you can try it out now though. True. So how does it work? Pretty simple actually. All you gotta do is put the headset on and say rubber baby buggy bumpers. Okay. Rubber bugger baby dumpers. Rubber dubbered TB rubber dubbered turpers. Can you see it yet? I don't think so. Maybe it's broke. <gasps> oh my goodness. What is this? What are you seeing? It's like blue and green lights in the sky. But it's nighttime. 
It's like if you took a giant box of glittery shoelaces and shook them in the sky. Oh, that's the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Borealis? Aurora Borealis? Also known as the Northern Lights. Aren't they pretty? Jada, besides the menu at Chick-fil-A, <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. How they make this? Who? NASA. Was it NASA or was it Disney? This seems like something Disney might have done. It's just so beautiful. Or this was like edited on some like computer for like a show or something. Carl, you know God made this, right? Excuse me? God created the Northern Lights. Humans can create some really cool stuff, but you know, God makes the stuff that really is wonderful. That is incredible. I can hardly believe it. I had no idea God created something so magnificent. Right? That's why I wanted to get this for you, so you could continue to realize not only just how great God is, but encourage you to keep worshiping God as well. Thanks, Jada. I mean, I guess we can kind of all forget to worship God sometimes. But to be completely honest, I have a hard time understanding what that looks like. You know, like, worshiping God. Oh, yeah, I totally understand. I like to think of worship like this, to show appreciation and love toward God. So that may look like praying, singing, dancing, resting, or even our thoughts. There are millions of ways we can honor and give glory to God through our life. I guess you're right. I think that's amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. I wonder how those lights do that. Well, it's complicated, but it has a lot to do with the sun. The sun? Yep. There are particles that travel all the way from the sun to the earth. Some of those particles bounce off the earth's atmosphere, but some peek through. That leads to the brilliant colors floating through the sky. Never knew God could do that, did you? I love it! It's stuff like this that makes me understand Psalms more. I, I think it's pronounced Psalms, but go ahead. Like in Psalms 31, it says, From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watched all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. Oh, I like that a lot. How cool is it that God watches over all of us? I don't know about you, but that makes me feel better. Right? That's what I'm saying. Seeing those northern lights made me kind of think, Maybe God does have everything under control, even though my life can feel very out of control sometimes. Like a baby goat driving a monster truck, you know? I think so. It's easy to get distracted and forget that having trust and faith in God is the most important thing we can do in this life. I mean, think about it. Even though there are things like the northern lights, oceans, mountains, animals, planets, and galaxies, in God's eyes, we are more important than all of that. That makes no sense. I mean, I know I'm beautiful, but I don't know if I'm more beautiful than the Borealis. Aurora Borealis. That's what I said. <laughs> right. Anyway, Carl, the Psalm 139 tells us, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We also can't forget what it says in Psalm 33. We wait and hope for the Lord. God is our help and our shield. God isn't a shield. God is, well, God. Well, yes, of course. But what the writer of this psalm is telling us is that just like a shield, God will keep us safe and protect us. Even when things don't look great, God is reminding us through this psalm that we can always put our hope in God. And what better way to worship than to express this hope that God gives us? You know what? You're absolutely right. I love that. Sometimes there's things around us that just seem hopeless. Like maybe things can't be made right or like fixed, but verse 5 reminds us of how full the earth is for his love. It reminds us that God loves helping restore things, setting things right. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. You got it. Thanks, Jana. So, um, do you want to try? Um, no, it's okay. I don't need to. Okay, thanks. <laughs> hey, all you wonderful kids. Today's big idea is so special. And it is we can worship by putting our hope in God. So let's shout it out to the Northern Lights. So ask an adult. We have to face north. Which way north is? We have to... I think, I think it's this way for me, okay? So I'm gonna face this way, all right? All right, are you ready? One, two, three. 
we can worship by putting our hope in God. Woo! Excellent job, everybody. Great job. Now make sure you do not miss next week's episode of Grow TV because Carl is going to be learning about a special mountain. All right? We'll see you then. Bye, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV. Sometimes life can be tough and we feel like there is no hope. Maybe you've experienced this feeling when you didn't make a team you were trying out for, your family had an argument, a friend was unkind, you might have made a not so great choice, or maybe a really good friend moved away or you had to move away. Maybe you felt like no one understood you. When we feel sad or feel like we have no hope, worshiping God is the best thing we can do. Because when we worship God, we put our hope in Him. Today, we're going to be learning how to do our memory verse with sign language actions. But first, let's say it all together. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139 double dot 14. So, Miss Laura, are you ready to learn our sign language actions? Absolutely, I am. Are you? I am. So first, our first word is I. So we're going to take our pointer finger and point to yourself. I praise. This is our action for praise. So you're going to put your hands kind of together, not touching, but just a little bit apart and move to the, your other shoulder. So I praise you. Now, because that's, you're gonna take your hand next to your head, like your temple in front of your ears, and you're gonna move your middle finger up and down twice because I am. So let's try that again. Mm -hmm. I praise you because I am, now we're going to say fearfully, so we're going to take kind of jazz hands and not jazz them and just move them in front of you. Fearfully and wonderfully made. So fearfully and wonderfully, so like two wonderfully, think like a waterfall, waterfall, wonderfully made, like you're grinding pepper. So I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now your, like you're giving a high five to God, your works. So you're gonna make a fist with both hands, but in like an open fist and then a real fist and bounce them twice. Works are wonderful. I know that full well. So you're gonna take from your chin and point down full well. So let's try again from your works. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And there we have it. Would you like to do it together? Absolutely. Let's do it from the top. Okay. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. There you have it. Here's our memory verse. Thanks for joining us today. Let's close our time in prayer and thank God for the amazing time that we had, okay? Dear God, even though we can't see you and we may not always know what you have planned for us, we know that you are good and that you love us and nothing can ever change that. We can see the amazing wonders you've created and they remind us of your great love for us. Teach us to worship you in every season so that our hope in you may grow. In Jesus' name, amen.